How to buy a domain name. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. Your domain name is what your website is called. It's that bit that people type into the address bar after all the www's to visit your gloriously designed homepage. So make sure you think long and hard about what you're going to call it. Step 1. Picking a name. It needs to be memorable and easy. You really don't want to be changing it once you're up and running and people are becoming familiar with your site, so make sure it clearly sums up exactly what your website is and does. Here's a good trick. Imagine yourself telling someone what your website is and if it could possibly be misconstrued in any way. You'd have to explain www.cottons.matrix.com in horrendous, bumbling detail, for example. It'll take too long and they'll probably jot it down wrong on the other end of a phone, so keep it clean, crisp and clear. Also, if your domain is more than one word, make sure the words don't overlap. www.penisland.com looks a little bit different when written down all together in lowercase letters, for example. Step 2. Make sure it's not taken. When you're ready to buy the domain name, you'll probably find some other buggers nicked it already. In the same way that google.com is taken, you'll find people have registered all sorts of crap all over the internet. Even www.abcdefg.com is taken. Some people even buy up domains they don't even need and park adverts there. They'll buy misspelled versions of popular sites in case your big fat fingers jab the wrong keys on the keyboard in the hopes of snaring some unsuspecting simpletons and earning a few pence from the advertisers. Gamespot.com, for example, is a knockoff of popular gaming site GameSpot. It's currently full of adverts for grotty porn, so probably best not to go and have a look-see right now. When you try and register a domain, the company you're doing it through will tell you if it's taken and suggest alternatives if it is. Step 3. Find a company to register it for you. All domain registering companies are much of a muchness. You just need to hunt around for a decent price. .com domains are the most expensive, and more obscure ones like .org.uk tend to be cheaper. It doesn't matter what country you're in and what currency you're dealing in, but it's perfectly understandable that you might want to deal with a company within your borders in case something goes wrong. Step 4. Spend your money. Bear in mind that you're only buying the rights to the name at this point. You won't be able to host any of the files that make up a website yet. For that, you'll need to watch video jugs, how to buy hosting and guide to FTP and uploading. You buy for a period, generally of one or two years, and you'll receive emails when your domain registration is about to expire, so you can renew it and keep your website up and running. Once you've found your company, be it 123reg.co.uk, servage.com or dreamhost.com, buy the domain and hand over your cash. It'll take some time to register, maybe up to a day, but it's generally done within a few hours. You'll get a password and a login from the company, which allows you to access a control panel. From here, you can normally change the holding page, which is the page that lets people know that the domain's taken, and set up email accounts, like you at examplewebsite.com. Once it's registered and up and running, you own the domain and can type it into your favourite internet browser. Next step is to buy some hosting, so you can set up an actual website. Done.